keys to success that we look for and I would say most companies now look for is you want to have to continue to learn. If you want to go into a job and just do the same old thing, <clears throat> I guess that's okay, uh, but don't expect your career progression to be very good. So if you look for another key to success, constantly be looking to learn. That's not just in a formal classroom, even though we spend all this money on tuition assistance. And we have a wonderful training center that's written up in a lot of magazines and we win awards. It's learning every day. You can learn from your best friend. In fact, a lot of the things that we do is teaching peer to peer. I happen to have a doctorate and my dissertation is on peer learning. Uh, and it's one of the more powerful forces because you know what? Uh, you can go to a class and uh, don't listen too carefully now over there on that table. Uh, you can kind of ignore your professor, can't you? I, I actually used to fall asleep in class occasionally because I used to load trucks at four in the morning till about nine or ten and come in and go to class and one of my professors who became a friend used to uh, constantly bring that up about how many times I slept through his class. So you can ignore your professor. Uh, interestingly enough, there's a lot of evidence that when you're at work, you learn to ignore your boss. You work around them. You can hide from them. You can listen to them when they want to. And by the way, one of the things we learn in our training center is that any message, who's in control of a message? The receiver. Is anybody listening out there? Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. I can be saying all kinds of wonderful things. If you're thinking about the concert tonight, about your favorite baseball team, uh, the upcoming football season, your boyfriend or girlfriend, it doesn't matter, right? I'm just kind of flapping my gums here. And that can sometimes be the case even whether you're with a friend or your parents or whatever. They're trying to tell you something. You are in control of the message. We try to remember that when we're at work, and that's something that's another key, perhaps, is that you need to remember that as you're going through your career. Communication is very important, but messages are controlled by the receivers. As, as much as we want to try with marketing, who's in marketing here? You asked the question about that. Um, to jump ahead to yours here, one of the keys to our success is uh, has anybody ever seen an ad for paychecks? We don't do them. Okay? Almost all of our selling is through relationships. 38 years ago, Tom discovered that for small businesses, their most important person is their certified public accountant. I, I had my own business for a while. And it was a very important person to me too. 33 to 35% of our clients were brought to us by their CPAs. So we spend a great deal of our time building relationships with CPAs all over the country. So part of the answer to both of these questions is know how your business is going to work or how your function is going to work. And I will tell you that almost any function you have, unless you are a scientist in a laboratory working alone, is built on relationships. That's not just for the person in marketing. You're not the only one that has to know relationships. You will not be successful in any job unless you know how to have good relationships and good communication. Good communication is two-way because the receiver's in control of the message, not you. You can try and you have to be careful, but when you learn it, it's a two-way dynamic. So just like in our business, we learned that the relationship with the people who are important to the people who we, who we want to have as our clients, we build a relationship with them. They send us our clients. Another 30% of our clients, to go down to this, this question here, are brought to us from our current clients. So again, it's a relationship. Now, for those of you who don't know about Paychex, and I would expect that most of you don't because we're one of those unseen companies. <coughs> Excuse me. When we do payroll for over half a million small businesses, we do it by still calling our clients. 
So every two weeks, which is when most pay periods are, one of our representatives actually calls the person. They call the person, the same person every time. It's not just a big call center. Uh, you might be at our Cleveland branch. You would have 200 clients. You would call those same clients and you would build a relationship with them. They know to trust you with their information and that you'll do a good job. Well, we built such a good relationship that those people refer more businesses to us. So that if you're running, let's see, you're going to be a doctor, okay? But you're in, you know, a strip mall, you know, got that, and you have a restaurant, all right? Well, you're talking because you went into her restaurant and you were saying, oh man, I did, I'm working on this payroll, it's terrible, I can't do it, it's a pain in the neck, okay? What are you going to say? Oh, you should just call paychecks. That is literally how we get a third of our business. And it happens exactly like that. And then next to you, what, what do you want to run as a business person? An accounting firm. Oh, no, the, because then you'd be a competitor. So we'd have to <laughs> skip you. And you want to run? Uh, photography shop. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, ab I tell you, that's a doctor, a restaurant. We skip the accountant. We, because you might, well, actually, no, because we would call on you because you would refer clients because you don't want to do their payroll. It's a dirty job. So when you have them, you want to do their general ledger, right? You will then say, okay, sign up with paychecks. They'll send me their reports so I can do the general ledger. And then you're going to sit there and the photographer is going to have the same problem, okay? Because if you're in a small business, that's how you run it. So for us, the secret to our marketing is two-thirds relationships. The rest of it, for us, marketing is selling. So for any of you who, and actually most of the people who have started to work with us, and, and we've got 10, 10 or 12 uh, graduates in, in our organization, they typically start doing some kind of sales job, which is either knocking on doors or calling people on the phone. You know, not, the, again, the most glamorous, but if you like doing it, it's a great job. By the way, you can make big money in sales. Okay, our highest paid people are our salespeople. Uh, so whether you like it or not is up to you, but it's a, it's a great place to have a career. So those are the three things that we do in marketing. Again, it's, it's not what everybody should do. And oh, by the way, uh, we at one point tried some marketing. We used to sponsor a NASCAR. Any, any NASCAR fans here? Yeah, we had car number 11, okay? We did that for two years, big mistake, okay? Added nothing to our business, even though, by the way, the demographics in the marketing reports looked like they should have. So we tried it. Didn't help us at all. A lot of fun. I got to go to a couple races. It was terrific. I'll be glad to tell you about it later. But we learned that that was bad. You need to know what to pull out of in terms of marketing. Okay, management skills. You already learned one of them. Relationship and relationship management. Uh, you need to have strong relationships with all kinds of people. The people who report to you are not just people who are your slaves. You need to have a good relationship with them. Yes, you are the boss, so you have to be careful that you're still going to have to be the boss. You're going to be responsible for them. The person to whom you report, your peers, they're all important to you. So management skills it's very important to have relationship skills. Whether you're selling, and a key to success in our company, key to your own personal success as a manager. The other thing, and it does relate to, to a lot of your academics, is um, 